All right, guys, welcome to another little combat tips made easy. This time we're going zooming. We are, we're going zooming. Uh, so people have been wondering, I you know, got a request in the last video. Um, how do you zoom around a lot? Like, like that. Oh my God, we did some zooming. That was crazy. Um, there's other things as well, like going from the, the combat dummies into the, the boss borders. We'll get to that as well. Uh, stuff like this, it's like, how do you do that? How did you get behind that rock? So uh, it's actually surprisingly simple, believe it or not, and very useful in certain places, uh, particularly AOD if you're trying to get from one pillar to another really quickly. So there are two different things you can do. Um, first of all, let, let, let's imagine for a second we're on the final phase of Zuck, for example, and we're over here killing a minion. And let's say over there, just cuddled behind that rock, um, is another minion. So how do we get there in the least time possible? So what we'll do is we'll equip our bladed dive swap, so a main hand, a uh, melee weapon, and any kind of, well, just, I, I mean, I, I, ideally you want something with mobile on it. So I've got mobile on my Excalibur, which makes my surge and bladed dive the reduced cooldowns. But what we'll do is we're gonna pre-target um, over here for bladed dive. Uh, I'm going to surge and then I'm going to bladed dive. And then in one nice smooth tick, um, you end up over here. Look at that. That was pretty cool. And that's one of the uses for it. And then another thing we have is if I am facing this direction, because normally what would happen is you know, if I press surge right now, I'm going that way. And that's not where I want to be. I want to go this way back towards the big bad boss. So what I can do is while I'm still facing this way, if I, it has to be a one tick this. If I do my bladed dive again, you don't have to right click, you can just left click. But bladed dive this way and then surge, it'll put you over here. Bladed dive and surge very quickly after one another. And it's important that you do it quickly because if you do not do it quickly, and especially if you're targeted on something before, it makes it a bit more annoying. Um, but it can, uh, it can turn you around if you're targeted on something. Uh, I don't have a combat thing to show here really, but you've got to make sure you do it in one tick. So very important there. So yeah, surge and bladed dive, bladed dive and surge. Different order depending on what you want. You know, general direction, just bladed dive surge. Uh, if you're going to be on a targeted exact place, then surge that bladed dive. And we've got people asking, how do people get into the portal so quickly? So let's pretend we're doing some gem building over here. Yada, yada, yada. Do some things. I want to go into that portal. How do we do it? Well, you go to here. You surge bladed dive. And you click on the portal. And oh my goodness, you didn't even see it. I was so quick. So quick. Get over there. So these, um, these tiles by the uh, the portals, they're very specific. Like I know where this one is already. You gotta like go in like right in the, right in the middle there. Could be one more over actually. Um, but yeah, like, so d all the portals have like different diveable tiles. You probably have to experiment yourself to find out which is which. Cause like, you can go quick with that one, but I remember Reaper being a bit, a little weird, especially even far away, but experiment with yourself. Um, but yeah, mostly just, yeah. So just wait, bladed dive in, happy days. So this one, you do have to remember to face the correct way to search. So you this, and then click there, and look at that. You're right next to the portal, then if you click it quickly, you'll take it in just one. So that is that. And I'm pretty sure that kind of covers it. Like, you know, it's not, it's not particularly complicated. Um, one thing I might recommend is putting your camera on uh, on modern camera because what can happen otherwise uh is the camera can get a bit jolty when you're doing stuff like this look at that with the surge dive see how here it's like my character like is sort of in front of the camera and the camera catches up uh if you're in the other camera mode it can be a bit i don't know well i guess you'll see here see, see what you prefer i suppose but yeah it's like instant and quite jolty. And personally, I don't like that as much. I used to, like, like this used to be my thing, but I, I changed it to the more modern camera. And personally, I prefer it, especially when it comes to uh, zooming around like this, it feels a lot smoother. Maybe give that a go as well. 
so yeah that's essentially the video it's uh it's not too bad but yeah tldr if you want to go somewhere specific search then bladed dive in the same tick ideally i just did that separate separated by a tick to demonstrate and then if you want to go and just uh you know in the general direction then just bladed dive search and okay so uh yeah that's about it for this one hopefully this has helped some people become a little bit more zoomy oh i guess i should say bladed dive is from shattered worlds and surge i did a double surge uh just a magic ability and double surge is from anachronia agility or the grand exchange so uh yeah hopefully this helps someone good luck